All week, we are going to be talking with superintendents across central Arkansas to see how they are getting ready for the upcoming school year. We start this morning with Bryant High School, or Bryant, that is, school district. And this morning, Bryant's superintendent, Dr. Karen Walters, joins us now via Zoom to uh, talk about this upcoming school year. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning, Ashley. Yes. All right, so what can parents expect when they bring their children to school this year? What, what can parents expect? Well, for the first day, it may be a little hectic because of the traffic, first day traffic. Uh, a little different this year. Traditionally, parents have walked their students into the building. That's not something we're going to be able to do this year. But other than that, we hope it's going to be as normal as it possibly can. All right, and I know um, a lot of districts are deciding between on uh, on in person or online. What are you guys doing there at Bryant? So we're actually offering uh, both options to our families. We have about 35% of our families that have chosen virtual route uh, to learn from home, and we have about 65% of our students who will be in our blended model, which will be here on site. All right, and I was on your website earlier today, and I saw that kindergarten's actually starting next Thursday. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, so we did, we were not able to do our kindergarten screeners that we normally do in the spring. And so Monday and Tuesday, our kindergarten teachers will uh, have appointments to bring our kindergarten students in one at a time to complete those screeners. They'll set those classes and uh, let them know on Wednesday they're going to do a virtual Zoom with those parents. And then Thursday will be their first day. All right, and as far as PPE, I know everyone wants to stay protected. Will students and teachers be required to wear masks? Yes, we are, our board approved resolution, we are requiring face masks for pre-K through 12, and of course all of our uh, staff members are required to wear face coverings as well. All right, and I also saw that some um, virtual open houses will be happening this week. Can you tell us a little bit about what parents can expect with that? Yes, all of our schools have done a wonderful job, of each a little different, uh, but just trying to find a way to show our parents what the buildings look like, introducing the staff, especially for our, our new students to the district that have not been here and for those transition grades that it's new for them to be in that building. I think they've done a great job to make parents feel a little bit more comfortable. All right. And then if, if there does happen to be an outbreak at all, what type of contingency plans does the district have there? So we have uh, a document from the Department of Health and the Department of Education, and it has the levels of response. There's mild, medium, and critical. So it will depend upon uh, you know, what, what the outbreak looks like. Is it contained to a classroom? Is it in one school? Is it the district? So our response will depend on which of those scenarios that we're looking at. Okay, and I have to ask you, I know the Salt Bowl is a huge thing for Saline County. What will that look like this year? Is that still going to happen as planned? Yes, yeah, so Salt Bowl will be not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, not going to be as many people in the stands uh, as what we normally would have. Uh, I think there's going to be a pay-per-view option uh, for those people that are not going to be able to be there, don't feel comfortable. But yes, the salt bowl is rolling on. All right, I know a lot of people are excited to hear about that. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Walters. Thank you, Ashley.